With the upcoming local body elections in October, there's plenty of speculation on who will be running for mayor against Bob Parker. Joelle Batista joins us now in the studio with one of the potential candidates. Thank you, Samson. I'm with Leanne Dalzell to discuss the local elections. Thank you for coming, Leanne. Thank you, Joelle. So, um, it's been reported in the press, and it's the question on everyone's minds, but will you be running for mayor? Well, I'd love to give you the scoop of a, a lifetime, but uh, unfortunately I'm not in a position uh, to actually announce w what I'm doing at this stage. And it's not indecision that's uh, causing this, this delay. It's actually because I believe that if we are to reunite our city around recovery, then there has to be something more than a, a former Labour MP or a Labour MP uh, running for mayor. It has to be a team approach. And by team approach, I'm assuming you mean with a deputy already in mind? Well, I, no, I haven't got a deputy in mind. You would have seen in the media that uh, I asked Sam Johnson if he would be prepared to take on that role. Huge ask for a 24-year-old to step up to the plate. Um, the fact that he considered it, seriously considered it, um, I thought was tremendous. Obviously, I'm disappointed that he said no, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just taking my time. I don't think that there's a rush. The nominations don't open until July, so there is plenty of time to work these issues through. And um, I'm aware that you did say in your speech that it is yourself unfair to keep it from the Christchurch public. How much longer do you think you will take until you can decide? No, what I said in my speech was that what's unfair to um, the people of my electorate is to have this uncertainty, uh, and so that is certainly driving my view. But the other thing that I think is really, really important to remember is that, you know, if I, if I decide to run for mayor, then that causes a by-election. We're going to have some major boundary changes, uh, in, particularly in the east. You know, thousands of people have had their properties red zoned, so there's going to be some major changes. So that means that somebody could run for the, you know, to replace me as the MP for Christchurch East and then face another election in a totally different form of a seat um, back in, in, in 2014. So I'm very mindful of the fact that I've got to balance a whole lot of issues. I've been used to representing the East for a number of years now, um, and I, that's why I'm reaching out across the city. If I can find somebody who wants to play a role in bringing the council together around the table East and west, left and right, you know, let's just put all of these issues to one side and rebuild, reunify our city around recovery. Then I'd be interested in standing. And you're talking about issues that are causing separation. Could you go into any more detail with what issues they are? Well, I think that there are, there are divisions in the city, and part of the divisions actually arise from the fact that our geology is quite different. So we've had a lot of damage over in the east. There is damage in the west, but I mean, look, after the earthquakes, they really came to the fore. We actually had the West come east and help us. You know, that's why Sam Johnson was just such a powerful figure with the Student Volunteer Army. But we had the Farmy Army, we had everyone coming over to help us. And I think that we need to get that spirit of reunification, bringing our city together to help each other through recovery. If these divisions can be healed, then we are well on our way to recovery. Fantastic. Well, thank you for coming along, Leanne, and all the best with your decision. Thank you.